Welcome to another session where we are making steps closer to Christ. As we are in paragraph 10.3, we want to jump right into it. Here we go. It says, God has bound our hearts to him by unnumbered tokens in heaven and in earth through the things of nature and the deepest and tenderest earthly ties that human hearts can know, he has sought to reveal himself to us. Yet these but imperfectly represent his love. Though all these evidences have been given, the enemy of, God, of good blinded the minds of men so that they looked upon God with fear. They thought of him as severe and unforgiving. Satan led men to conceive of God as a being whose chief attribute is stern justice, one who is a severe judge, a harsh, exacting creditor. He pictured the Creator as a being who is watching with jealous eye to discern the errors and mistakes of men, that he may visit judgments upon them. It was to remove this dark shadow by revealing to the world the infinite love of God that Jesus came to live among men. This is a very powerful uh, paragraph again. Uh, we see how God's love is being revealed and how Satan is trying to attack the character of God. He did it in heaven by giving a false uh, conception of who God is uh, to the angels. He also did it to Adam and Eve by trying to misrepresent the character of who God is and he's trying to do it to you and me because he's trying to make us think that God is not a God of love. He's trying to make you think that the suffering that you're going through right now is all based upon who God is. It's all God causing these sufferings and pain in the world. He is trying to make you think that God, it is God's ideal, it is God's will, it is God's purpose, it's God's joy for you to experience the loss of a mother, the loss of a friend, the loss of a car, the loss of a home. It is, it, he, makes, he wants to make you think that it's God's will for you to be poor. He wants to put a false uh, a conception in your mind of who God is. But Sister Ellen G. White is saying that, no, 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 this is a reason why Jesus came. Thank God for Jesus. Because Jesus came so that we can have the proper conception of who God is. Jesus came and demonstrated unconditional love straight on the cross of Calvary. We look and we see that Jesus uh, poured out everything to show that, hey, God is love. And so when you feel like you're tempted to doubt that God loves you, look upon the cross. When you're tempted to doubt that, man, God doesn't care about me, look how Jesus treated widows. Look how Jesus treated uh, those who were classified as dogs. Look how Jesus treated those who were marginalized and those who were being abused by the systems in his time. Look how Jesus treated those who he come in contact came in contact with he treated them with love and that's who God is God is love and he wants to show you the same thing today he is love my friend he loves you through your pain he loves you no matter what and I want to pray for you this uh, as you're watching uh, that God will give you strength and God will open our eyes to see that he is love and he has demonstrated totally through Christ let's pray father Thank you for revealing your love to us through Jesus. Sometimes we doubt if you really love us because the pain is real. But Jesus, when we look at the cross, we understand that the Father is love. Thank you for manifesting total love to us. This I pray, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless. See you next time.